I got freaking scammed for a damn iPhone. Pissed off. Good afternoon, everybody. It's your boy once again. And we're starting today off with the unboxing. So, let's start it off. Who knows what's in this little box? All of a sudden, unboxing. There you go. I think I have an idea of what this might be. But, might as well show you guys. Yes, it is what I think it is. Ooh. First of all, I always want to do this. Check this out. Yes, you guys saw that right. The Yeezy Cleats by Mr. Kanye West himself. Wow. They smell good. They look good. Why didn't I get a little package thing? Anyways, these are the shoes right here. As you guys can see, these are inspired by, inspired by the 350 Turtle Doves. And you guys might be asking, you don't play football. No, I do not. But I do resell. So um, I got these for that purpose. You know how your boy always does it. And um, I honestly don't know why I got these in the beginning. I have no idea why. Like m me and Kai and my brother were just driving. And I saw it on Twitter and I'm, I told Kai, yo, they're up. We bought them. And um, later on, I realized, like, why did I buy them? Well, not only did I get one, but my brother also got his as well. So maybe you might, I might keep these if I ever play flag football or something like that. Or maybe just sell them. I don't know how the resale game is on these. But let's just say easy, boys. Day five, and I still don't have a phone yet. I honestly don't know how I am surviving. But I'm heading to UCLA to hopefully get the phone. Um, the person I'm getting it from said I can get it tonight over there. So I'm gonna head over right now because since I don't have a phone, I can only text from my laptop. So like, I can't do it right away. So come on along this journey with me to find a dang iPhone. update so there has been no confirmation or contact with the phone guys so right now i still don't have a phone i am waiting but we have some new news someone i've got a new client for camps fire kicks so you guys saw my last client uh it went pretty big but um we're not going to talk a lot about it so i want to introduce to you guys my new client for campfire kicks we're gonna get them right in shape. How are you doing? This is the new client, everybody. So, are you ready to work out? No, I'm gonna throw up. Let's just say campfire kicks back in session. The first part of the workout is gonna be, uh, you know, a warm up jog around the track, and then we're gonna be hitting something hard. And you know what? Something that I just noticed: you have to be positive when you're about to work out. None of, Shut up. none of that. Uh, oh, it's gonna kill it. I can't do it. I'm this, I'm that. None of that, all right? None of that campfire kicks. We're still kicks. doing it. We're, okay, we're going hard. The next part of the workout is gonna be all these steps. One up, one down. Let's get it. Campfire kicks ended in a in a bad thing we couldn't finish the workout because it was at this moment that he knew he what? we didn't do abs we didn't do abs okay fine we did finish the workout i was proud of her it's really tough because i haven't worked out in like three months and he planned this whole like two hour long workout. two hour it was one thing first of all it doesn't matter he just pushes way too hard she yacked she threw up so he I, I threw up five times five let's just say campfire kicks in full effect so after the workout we're once again eating fish tomatoes onions basil just you know that healthy food i'm starving but 
the scroll takes forever to cook. And look the same at food. this. We have the same food every time, but doesn't it just look amazing? Thank you very much, Chef Angie. I'm driving back home from UCLA, man, and I got freaking scammed for a damn iPhone. Pissed off. Waited all damn day and all night for this shit. I didn't even get it. Excuse my language, but I'm gonna tell you guys what happened when I get home. Oh my god, I am so tired and I'm so pissed off about what just happened. Literally the whole day I've been waiting for this damn iPhone. So let me give you guys a background story. I uh, dropped my iPhone in Atlanta this weekend. Dropped it on Thursday. I didn't have it on Thursday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It's my fifth day without a phone. And it was so important for me to get a phone. It has everything, emails, whatever, check, check Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. All that stuff is on a phone. And not having a phone and not being able to communicate with the world is actually very difficult. Like, not even the social media, but just being able to communicate, just get stuff done. So, the whole weekend, I went to Apple and they were charging a lot of money for an iPhone, okay? And I was like, I'm not, what's the point of paying this much money for an iPhone 6, which is old when there's a 6S, a 7, and stuff like that. Like, it, it was an old one, right? So, I called some people up, looked at my resources and everything to find an iPhone, and I finally found an iPhone, right? So, I came back from Atlanta on Sunday and I said, yo, can I come get the iPhone today? on sunday and he's like yeah okay come get it and all that like i'm like okay everything's set um i was like before i went i want I, it was still all sketchy to me like not even sketchy but it was just i wasn't unsure so i said send over the all the information on the iphone to see if i can activate it first because i don't want to drive almost an hour and a half away for a phone and when i get there I say you can't activate it because of this 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 so I went through the hassle all throughout online and everything, calling Sprint, doing this, paying that, paying the activation fee, did all that, and the phone was activated. So I had a phone that was activated, but it was not with me, it was with another person. So Sunday night, um, the guy stops responding. No messages, no nothing, no nothing. I'm like, yo, what the hell, like nothing's going on. Finally, then the next day, today, Monday, I'm like, uh, texting, texting, yo, phone, 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 no response. Finally, yeah, I'll come give it to you tonight. And I was like UCLA, so I'm like waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and like nothing. I kept texting, 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 getting no reply, no nothing. So literally, I got, it's so annoying. I got scammed for an iPhone. Thank God I didn't pay him in advance or anything like that. I didn't do anything of that sort. I just paid an activation fee and my time and all that. But I'm honestly so pissed off right now. Like, I needed a phone and I trusted somebody and they didn't come through. Like, actually have the decency of, like, texting me back saying, Yo, I can't make it today. Or, Yo, you're not going to get it. Like, why you're holding me up? Like, I could have done something else. Like, I could have figured out another venue. And I think it's my fault, too, trying to be more resourceful. I should have just paid that X amount, that much money to just get a new iPhone. Instead of going through all this trouble. So, what I realize is... First of all, if you want anything done, get it done yourself. Don't depend on other people because that never happens. And another thing I learned is time is money. If you're going to spend more money and save time, take that route because you can be doing so much more with your time, getting more money, getting more knowledge and stuff like that. But if you try to be like trying to find a more resourceful way or trying to find something cheaper, it's going to take much longer time, give you more of a hassle, more of a headache. I'm in more of a dilemma. I'm not going to hit up that person anymore. Uh, tomorrow I'm very busy as well so I don't have to figure out when I can go to Apple and like get a new iPhone and just it's just hectic I can't believe I got scammed for an iPhone it's so annoying god at least text me that you're not coming why are you gonna have me wait so late at night well that's my two cents beware of the scammers guys good night I'll see you tomorrow